Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the Live Net TV app to your Fire Stick or Android TV. The whole process is going to be super easy and will take you only a couple of minutes. First of all, you'll need to get the app called Downloader on your device. You can actually get it totally for free from your official Amazon App Store. To do so, you just go to search on your device and start typing Downloader in the search bar. So let's do it right now. And as you can see, Downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom. So you click on Downloader and there is the app that you gotta get to your device. But after you get Downloader, it's actually not over yet because we still gotta set it up. So in order to actually set up Downloader on your device, you need to go to Settings. So you click on that button with a gear icon, then scroll down and go to My Far TV. Let's open it. And from here, you'll have to turn on the developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire TV Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, because it's actually super easy to make them appear. You just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to start clicking on the middle button on your remote and do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared for us right here. Open them, make sure to turn on the ADB debugging, then you need to go to install unknown apps, so you open those settings. From here, all you gotta do is just locate downloader and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store by default. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now, finally, we need to go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here. Let's open it. And there is the downloader, which is set up and ready to use on your Fire Stick. But before actually using the loader, there is one more thing which I always recommend doing. And it's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast. They got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to France right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online. And that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV, or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser, and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with a camera of your phone. It works the same way, and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now, finally, we gotta use Downloader safely. So we go straight to the list of apps on your device, then locate Downloader and open it up. And now, when the loader actually loads for you. What we need to do from here is on the left side menu, make sure to click on home. So we click on home. And now here in the search bar, we'll have to enter a code. So the code for Live Net TV is gonna be 9, 1, 2, 5, 2, 6. So once again, it is 912526, that's the code that you need to enter in the downloader application. Then make sure to click on go. And while it's loading, make sure to subscribe my channel so you would get even more content about Fire Sticks. 
as well as please hit the like button below this video. It truly helps me a lot and that way I'll be able to create even more videos for you. And as you can see, the load already started for me. Usually that doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. In my case, I got a pretty fast connection, so it took us only a couple of seconds. Then we need to click on install and now the live net TV will be finally installed to our far stick device. And after it's been installed, do not click on open yet. Instead, press on done because this way you'll have an option to delete the installation files as you don't really need them anymore on your device. So you click on delete and then delete once again. This way you get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important because by default your Fire Stick doesn't really have too much of free space available anyway. And now what we need to do is actually we gotta go to settings one more time. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So go to settings, then open my Fire TV. After that, go to developer options, install unknown apps. And from here, what you need to do is turn that option for live net TV as well, because it might need to download the updated version of the app. And now finally, if we go to the list of apps on your device, we open it and there's the live net TV application, which we have just installed to your Fire Stick. Now I would recommend you to click on the options button on your remote. That's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on move to front. This way live net TV is always going to be at the very top of your application list and therefore it's going to be super easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Just don't forget to keep European connected to stay safe and out of trouble while using such apps. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.